what's the saying? Always keep your chin up or your crown will fall off. Hey guys, it's Becca back for another one of Becca's Books. Today is exciting. I am going to be talking about an arc I received from Disney Hyperion and that is Royal Bastards by Andrew Shavar. I received this when I visited Disney Hyperion. I did vlog my visit. I'll go ahead and link that down below if you guys want to check it out. Funny story about, um, well I wouldn't even call this an arc. It's an uncorrected advance proof. I kind of put it off because it says that the release date is going to be in June. You lied to me. It came out in May. And when it came out, I was like, oh crap, I guess I gotta read this now. <laughs> but I'm so glad. It kind of lit a fire under my butt and I really, really enjoyed it. And in celebration of 500 subscribers, me and Mike are hosting a couple of giveaways. One of them will be this copy of the book. Ah. In order to win this in the contest, all you need to do is be subscribed and comment down below. We also ask that you be 18 years or older or have parents permission as I will be asking for your address to send you this book. So thank you guys so much. We love you and want to give back as much as possible. So really excited to be able to give this to somebody because we really enjoyed this book. Okay, so Royal Bastards is a fantasy novel. It takes place through the eyes of Tilla, who is a bastard of like the equivalent of a duke in this world. She has a brother through the same mother, but not the same father. So the father is the duke. She's really close to her brother. Her dad married and got legitimate daughters. And as he spends more time with the legitimate daughters, she finds herself kind of pulling away from the society life that she used to have with her dad before he had children. I don't know how they feel about uh, Tilla's dad and their relationship and not quite sure where this is going to go so I'm actually kind of interested. We'll see. In this world um, you can legitimize your bastards if you don't have any other children. I think that's what she was hoping for at first. But as she realized that's not going to happen, she starts spending a lot more time with her brother and away from the castle grounds. Until one day, the princess visits their castle and decides to sit at the bastard table, which is like the table in the very back where all the bastards sit at this party. All the bastards at these table witness something that they shouldn't have, and then the story kind of takes off from there. I'll take this thing off. I really enjoyed this book. I could not put it down for the love of me. Uh, it was so adventurous and kept me on my feet. I had such a good time reading it. The characters were absolutely wonderful. I was super enveloped into every single one of these characters. I love that they are making these characters really multi-layered. So even though some of them are unlikable, they have redeemable qualities, which are my favorite kinds of characters. I cared about them, I cared about what happened, I hated them, I loved them. Okay, I'm totally shipping Zell with myself. Zell rocks, and I love the little prayer he did. <laughs> I wanted relationships, I didn't want relationships, it was great. I loved how much I loved these characters, and they were so wonderful to follow across this adventure. Something that I really did enjoy about Royal Bastards is that it explores gray areas, meaning where, what they are doing in this quest or this adventure, they don't really know if it's right or wrong. And at the same time, that's okay. They're just figuring out as they go. And I love that. I really love gray areas in general. I think life is more of a gray area and most decisions you make aren't necessarily right or wrong. You just kind of have to do the best you can. And I, so when I see that in books, it makes me so happy because I relate to it on so many levels. So the fact that they made the whole story kind of a gray area it was really refreshing and nice to see. The world building in the story is very gradual. It made it really easy to get into and to kind of adventure with these gang of misfits. It's built into the story through many different mechanisms, including flashbacks. One of the worlds that they built was Bridgeport. Bridgeport was so cool. Basically it was like two towns on the side of this bridge and they basically built the bridge so much that they became one town. I don't know, it was really cool. The world building is excellent and I, I enjoyed getting into this universe. I did think the story was super predictable and the characters were very cliche. I mean, you kind of knew who was who and what was going to happen, but like it didn't matter. I still loved it. I still couldn't put this down. I had to like finish it in a day because I, I just wanted to know what happened to these people even though I kind of knew what was going to happen. It was still 
fulfilling to see it actually happen. I just, I really cared about each and every one of these characters. I teared up in places. I, I loved that you were emotionally inclined to each of these characters. Another thing I didn't like, there was some language that pulled me out of the world. So it was a little modern language and this is like more of like a medieval story. And every time I saw like a word or something, I was just like, oh, uh, okay. I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal to where it ruined the experience for me, but it would just take me out of the story just a little bit. And like I said, the story is really predictable. It's really tropey and it's it the story has been done you've seen this story before but again it didn't matter and i still really enjoyed it i gave this book a four out of five stars i just was so happy to get to know all of these characters and find out what happened to them and it, this book will be a series i cannot wait for the next book i hate reading series early but i'm really glad i did because this book was wonderful and a treat. That's it for my spoiler free review of Royal Bastards. If you want to get your hands on a copy, enter our contest. Just go ahead and give us a subscribe and a like. The contest will close a week from today. I'll post the time and date in the bottom there. Thank you so much for watching guys. Mike will be back in our next video. Don't you worry. If this is something you're interested in or sounds cool or just like my review, give me a thumbs up guys. I would really appreciate it. And if you want to see Mike, don't forget to hit subscribe for more videos. Bye guys.